I'm Lynn of Lynn V Hair, and this is Jake Yakasito Hair. How's it going, guys? <laughs> and we're um, a collective salon working out of the foundry. My business came about um, after 10 years of working at a larger salon, and I wanted to um, work independently as a um, booth runner. So I joined the foundry, which is a collective of artists. My business came about um, really wanting to be a part of the fashion industry and service and putting those two together it was the whole beauty of being able to sit a client down and service them and making them feel beautiful. I think getting your hair done is essential to self-care and with the times being this way it's been so important to feel good about yourself and every day getting up and looking at yourself um, I think getting your hair done does it makes a big difference to how you feel we um, checked off like crossed our T's dotted our I's and we did everything they wanted us to do and we still closed I remember Mayor um, Caldwell would say like we're gonna close tomorrow go get your hair cut Another PPP would make a lot of sense, but what would make more sense is to just open up our businesses um, so we can you know, take care of things on our own and start going. I have a, an experience with a new client actually, and it was in the beginning stages of my career. She walked in and she started telling her whole story to me and while I was doing her hair she stopped me and just told me how thankful she was that she was able to just say everything she wanted to and at the end of the service she was heading back home and she gave me a huge hug which at first was like wow I've just met you you know but it was a hug that I've never felt before and she told me that prior to this she was gonna commit suicide and till this day she still sees me and she always thanks me for that because it was something I would never even thought I would even be able to help someone overcome whatever they was overcoming but now she's still here you know and she's she has kids now and her kids are now seeing me and that was almost nine years ago and if I wasn't there that day to take her if I wasn't available who knows what have happened so it, it's powerful you know it's it's powerful. But we can't even imagine, you know, not doing what we were called to do. If I can't come back to work, I don't know. It's, it's a, I don't know, that uncertainty and this whole time not being able to do what I love. It scares me and I'm pretty sure it scares a lot of people, but I'm I, lost for words, honestly. Mm -hmm. I'm lost for words. 